Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld, where in the last episode we actually made quite a bit of progress. We have prepared the room for our end, though actually looking at this, I think we're going to need to expand this room one more tile across. We'll also dig through there, make it a little bit easier for us to get all of that done. We're also putting in the, the finishing touches down here. Now, what we can do here is immediately lay down the groundwork for our um, brewery area. Now, I want something along these lines, there and there. Uh, actually, we've gone too, ah, uh, yes, we have gone one too high. That's fine, we can easily fix that because that needs to be the wall there. And then all of these tiles will, in fact, be um, uh, barrels. The, the little gaps I've made in the walls, they'll probably be lamps. In fact, we can even lay that down right now as well so let's uh go ahead and set all of that up i guess sure we'll run it all the way around like so perfect 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 and indeed perfect uh right how's everyone doing sophia uh have we traded with you yet uh, we may not have and i don't really think we need too much we have got a decent amount of, of food at the moment which i'm very happy about we also need to set up the flooring in here of course now this is going to be once again a uh, a freezer for corpses specifically and realistically the oh, what did i just place down the only person who's going to be going in here will be dark Ava for, for the most part he's the only one who's going to have a reason to be in there which will be grand uh right it should be temperature controlled simply by bleeding the temperature from this massive storage area in there this is way too cold for insects to generally try being in. Um, these should be running on high more or less all the time right now, which is good, they are. Uh, wow, this place is a pigsty though, my lord. We are also currently researching the transport pods. Have we done all the work down there here that we need to do? Not yet, hopefully we can get that done fairly soon. Are we moving these yet? Uh, Rhapsody, what are you up to? Oh, okay, that's fine, you're moving the batteries, that is. All well and good, some scyther blades also need to be brought in. Generally speaking, things are going well for the colony. Have we got much food around here? Oh, we've got the megatherium. We've got another one down there, too. Tempted. I'm very strongly tempted because there's an awful lot of meat on these things. Let's actually have a look at the meat amount. 360 meat. Can I say no to that? I don't believe I can. Uh, however, I also believe that those things can ruin our day, so let's get actually a reasonable amount of people down here with, like, uh, oh, okay, we've got lots of people with grenades. Uh, I may need to get you guys set up a little bit differently, but uh, we're going to want a lot of firepower down here for this one, because that thing's going to get angry, and then it's going to take us down, and then it's possibly going to kill us. Uh, right. Open fire? Attack? There we go. It it doesn't want any of it. It's like, no, leave me alone. I just want to live in peace. Uh, okay, there we go. I mean, it sounded comical. It sounded like it was saying it wanted to live in peace, which, uh, you know, it's funny, except it was just trying to say peace, but we, we slaughtered it brutally before it could get out that last syllable. I'm sorry, Megatherium, but uh, know this. You will be turned into delicious, delicious noms and will sustain our colony going forward uh, so that it can murder your brethren. Uh, hmm. Maybe the Megatherium won't actually take any heart from that at all. Uh, we'll also wipe you out because you're going to be a problem to us in the future. There we go. Now you won't be. Uh, hello. Squirrel, today's your lucky day because I'm not interested in killing you. Let's slay you. There we are. Perfect. And, oh, it's still alive. That's not very good. Let's not be uh, savage about this. Let's put it out of its misery. Please. My lord. It took two headshots to kill the thing. All right, you're all good. Thank you very much. Uh, in fact, could Flurgles, do you, no, you can only uh, consume it. Oh, no, you can only consume it. There we go. Could someone carry that back for me? Please, and indeed, thank you. Valerie, could you carry that one back for me? Thank you. Marvelous. Could we get these moved? Uh, I would be extremely happy with that if we could get that to happen. Uh, we've got some visitors. Excellent. They have a few items to trade. Double excellent. There's actually quite a lot of them. We're not going to be able to house you all for now. I do apologize in advance for that. It is, uh, you know, I, f I feel bad. As a host, I feel bad. But 
uh, at the same time, it's not the worst thing in the universe. Uh, Dark Avak? Oh, thank goodness. Dark Avak is taking up the crafting of medicine. I worked out off camera that uh, the reason why Horasori wasn't making any medicine, Horasori doesn't have any skill in medicine. You need skill in medicine and crafting to be able to craft medicine. So Dark Avak has uh, swapped places with Horasori in terms of having uh, a priority on that work and likewise has toned down his priority for handling animals. I don't actually think that's a bad thing. Be perfectly honest i think uh, the priority on animals was a little bit high before now then oh, wilson 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 or oh, actually hmm, who be our best talker uh negotiations would be atlas okay atlas i would appreciate it if you go and uh, have a quick chat with cat well, you've got some pack survival meals that's, that's always cool you got a, we've got a lot of cloth we could sell, and uh, frankly, we're going to sell a lot of it. So uh, let's pop one there, and then I always forget that I need it to be negative rather than positive. Uh, you've got some medicine I could buy. I will. Actually, I'll buy all six just to uh, cut down on how much we need to produce ourselves. You've got an incendiary launcher. That is actually tempting. Like, that's legitimately extremely tempting. We've got way more grenades than we need, so we're going to sell three of them. And a fantastic amount of dead man's apparel. You've not got enough money. Uh, that is a shame. Very well. Not selling all of those grenades as it happens. Nor are we selling even remotely this much. Uh, oh, drat. Drat. Damn and blast. How much? We're, we're selling it for almost one each. So we'll sell um, 200. And again, I need it to be negative. There we go. We'll make 50. That's, that's fine. I'm completely okay with that. Sure, go ahead, make the trade, and we've got some medicines. Brilliant. Uh, we've also got all of our mortars set up, which uh, should make things really much, much safer for us going into uh, into things in the future. Now, um, let's see. How's everything? Ooh, what's happening? Ah, you're putting down all of the uh, the soil. I approve. I approve enormously. Oh, what? What just happened? What just... <gasps> Who be you? Why be you attacking? Uh, very tired, ugly environment. Slap outside, disturb sleep. Ate without a table. Constraining, constraining clothes. I'm a nudist, but I have to wear these clothes. It's not unbearable, but I still feel constrained and uncomfortable. And so I'm going to stab this puppy as, as recompense for my annoyance. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, that is not going to fly with us. Uh, should I try to not kill him? Uh, no. No. The gods have spoken. Dark Alva, go and equip yourself. Just run past him for now. It's fine. It's fine. You'll be back in a second to, to murder him. And this gives uh, Mojave uh, an opportunity to kill him as well. Uh, you know, for honor's sake. But it doesn't look like Mojave's going to be able to manage it. In fact, Mojave's getting really, really hurt. You cut off Mojave's tail? Well... I think it's only fair that we cut off parts of you then, or, you know, flat out kill you. I I feel completely justified in that slaying of you. Uh, get him out of here. Right. Dark, oh, Dark Avic isn't happy with this. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Uh, apparently feeling terrible. Ugly invited to witness an outsider's death. I saw someone die. They were alive one moment and then dead the next. It's like I killed them or something. Ah, you, You're a curious orange sometimes, Dark Havoc. But uh, please, please rescue Mojave. Go ahead. Rescue them. Take take care of them. Rescue, please. There we are. Uh, try tending. Go. Go forth. I would like you... Can I select you? Uh, everything there. Oh, my lord. Oh, let me get that all set up. Where are we? We want you to allow everything. And right now, I guess, would be the time for me to not accept any more human-like corpses in here. Or here, uh, really, that, that, that whole zone needs to go. Let me delete that zone. It shouldn't be there. In here, however, we now need a new zone for the storage of our human noms. Clear everything prior to critical to get it out of the way as fast as we possibly can. So the uh, the the colonists with with 
A delicate sensibilities will will not have to endure the sight of all of the corpses. Are you alright there? Oh, bless you. You took his tail off! Right, that's it. Adding. Where is it? Euthanized by cut? No, let's not. Uh, let's install a scyther blade. Fantastic. Dark Havoc, you can do that too. Oh, you're bleeding. Uh, oh no, you only got a crack on the ship. It's hardly, hardly something to worry about. Go ahead. Operate on Mojave. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, where are you? Go get the side. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. And just try not to fail is the only thing I would ask. There we go. Marvellous. I think marvellous indeed. All right, well, everything is going along nicely. Uh, things are coming along over here as well, actually. Well done. Let's build that along. In fact, let's go ahead and pop down a couple of the, the lights. Have we got any spares? Because we do sometimes end up with a couple of spares. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, that is not good. That is, though, so they can be brought... Ooh, noms. However, this is not good. You know what? Just, just leave them to it for now. No, no, Madden, why? Didn't you just see what happened to the last person who attacked one of our dogs? And you're attacking Aiden as well? <sighs> Get down here then, dog. Don't, don't kill Madden for this one because it's kind of our fault for sticking an evil computer in their head. But you are going to have to deal with them. Go on then. Madden, stop it. Stop it, Madden. Okay, how badly are you wounded? Oh no! Another one that's lost their tail! Okay, go ahead and equip that for me. Thank you. And I would like you... Well, I guess rescue... them and hopefully... operate on you by installing a scyther blade. i would be amusing if that's how you stop the bleeding. It's like, yeah, you're bleeding, but don't worry, I'm just gonna give you a new bit. It's gonna be great. And there we are. Madden's a little bit better. Dark Havoc, can you... What, what are you doing? Oh, you're fe feeding the husky. Very well. Uh, making medicine. No, you are in fact not. You are tending to Aiden. Go and grab some medicine, please. Thank you. Then you can upgrade Aiden. It'll be even better. Now what are you doing? Yes, fantastic. I approve. There we are. The, the colony is, is getting more efficient by the day. I am deeply, deeply satisfied with this outcome. Aiden, you are now going to be an awesome death-dealing almost wag. You're not quite as awesome as Yoko, but you're getting there. You are getting there. The next time the Madden decides to have a go at you, you can stab them repeatedly in the chest with your scyther tail. I think that is uh, completely fair. Honestly, completely fair. Right, we're moving some things down a little bit, though hopefully they'll be able to get that done a little bit soon. Uh, soon, er, uh, rather. Is that going to be moved at all, ever? You're hauling steel to a power conduit. Uh, okay. I keep giving you different jobs, so I suppose it's my own fault. But let me get a couple of people moving these up here, please. I really would like all of this set up right now, if we could get it done. I will be turning a couple of these off. In fact, yeah, let's shut these down. I'll have a couple of the turrets on. I'll have two there and one here, just in case the uh, uh, an enemy tries to get through you at some point. Ooh, a psychic sooth. Every colonist of the male gender smiles with content and contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit better. Well, that is lovely, isn't it? And Katie is, is in a daze because evil computer in his head. <sighs> I really only have myself to blame. I really only have myself to blame. The, 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 I, was, I was too focused on the progress uh, available. I was too focused on science. And uh, poor old, old, old Katie and, and Valerie, they are suffering as a result. Uh, okay, which is pregnant. Visitors, they're, they're leaving. They, well, it was okay. They left me 75 meat. And wow, okay, 75 bear meat and 32 bear meat and some more dromedary meat. That's amazing. I thought it left me a dromedary. So you left me a pet? On one hand, I think that's awesome because uh, having a dromedary is pretty cool. They're an awesome pack animal. On the other hand, you monsters. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, please. No, no, come on. You've got, you've got loads of... Well, actually, you probably don't have that much food thinking about it. Okay, fair enough. I accept it. However, we do have a lot of bionics. 
You know what? Let's since we're in the upgrading phase, let's go through and have a look at some people. You do need a couple of things. I believe I've got two bionic legs. Ooh, transport pods have been finished. Let's uh, go and have a look at that then. All right, at this point, I'd say that it's time for us to start looking into shipbuilding basics. Let's begin, shall we? It's going to lead to all of this. It's going to take us quite some time to get all of that done, but it'll be worth it. So you've got uh, a bionic leg to be installed because you lost a toe. Uh, you also have lost a toe on the same leg. So bionic leg you up as well. Uh, left pinky is being... Uh, you, don't, you don't like bionics because you're weird. Uh, all right, Valerie... Yeah. Oh, actually, it wasn't Valerie who had the... Uh, it was Madden, sorry, who had the um, AI. But I'm fairly certain that I've got both arms, so let's get those installed right now, shall we? Major break risk, Katie. I mean, this is what happens if you just zone out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what you expect from me, Katie. Well, maybe you expect some sort of compensation for having your brain injected with, with evil. Uh, you're not going to get it, so you may as well just stop whining right let's get out there where you need to slay an awful awful lot of animals ah uh, in fact i'm gonna save you this uh your sensibilities are no doubt too sensitive for this this un unrestrained slaughter of innocence so i'll bring you back when we have enough meat to last us the next four years or you know all the animals dead whichever comes first okay i couldn't do it all right I, I understand too much the 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 fool foolishness in hunting hunting your food to extinctions. We've left a small herd so they can wander off and repopulate and come back eventually. We we've not even touched this one because we don't need to because frankly we've killed too many already. In fact, there's a huge part of me that just feels that that was completely unnecessary and I probably shouldn't have done it. But I also know this game and the th sort of things it wants to throw at me. So c consider that precautionary supplies. I know that the game wants us to fail, and so I'm doing my best to make that very hard for the game to achieve. Uh, however, have you guys been uh, set up yet? No? Well, maybe you're going to have a leg replaced. You're going to have your arms replaced. Good, good times. Uh, right. So, Dark Havoc, what are you doing? You're installing a bionic... Oh, you were. You were going to install a bionic leg. It was going to be grand as well, but uh, alas, no. Oh, what? Oh, no. Unstoppable is dead. Ah. Uh, Malnutrition. Yeah, that makes me sad, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Um, could could um, please someone help help us? Our, our animals. They are they are they are dying. Uh, also, I believe you have fertilized eggs. So let's take that off. Uh, someone, Wilson, Wilson, move faster, Wilson. Uh, bef bef before who who are you before Muffalo Six dies, uh, I guess it's only Muffalo Six, so that should be okay. But please, I I'd prefer Muffalo Six not to be dead, if at all possible. Please, there we go. And yes, that's right. Put out the fire on 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 the heater, which is amusing. And then put out the fire on the muffler. Uh, okay. Uh, how badly hurt? Were you? Yeah, actually, reasonably hurt. Um. You're going to feed Verona. Yeah, I know, guys. It's, it's pretty bad. Maybe we should just get rid of all of the boom rats. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's it's a rough situation, but we got all this grass, and it should help us out. It's like 71% grown. Perhaps I should put down some better um, some soil over here. That might actually be really worth it in that area. Though we've got all of this grass up there just waiting to be, to be harvested as well. Most of it's going to go to the... Uh, to the Chickens, and I'm sorry I sound a little bit distracted. A moth has just visited me once again, and it's decided to land on my hand. Uh, why do moths like me so much? Is there a thing about moths? Is, is there a certain... Like, I know midges. If your blood happens to be the right type, then midges are going to love you and will pretty much ignore anyone else. So there's, there's a, a tip for you. If, you. if you hate midges, a tiny little biting insects, they're not mosquitoes by a long shot. They're, they're, they're a huge swarm of them, though. They're like a cloud when you walk into them. Um, if you don't like them biting you, find someone they find more tasty and always walk around with them because they will flatly ignore you. <laughs> Ah, uh, I have a few friends who 
and un- unwillingly sacrifice themselves for for my uh, for my safety around midges. Poor them. But uh, it appears that moths like me for some strange reason. It's gone off now. It's 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 deciding to uh, try and mate with my second monitor. I think. Uh, good luck. Okay, so what are we got? Purple forest. This carving bear is a depiction of a seductive trader wearing a shirt. Seductively, no, no less. A dead rat appears in the upper part. Oh, that's kind of ruined it. Um, okay, both want and strength. I, I, I have no idea how you're managing to convey these things. Short number sixty-eight. Um, or a story bonding with a husky while looking into the husky's eyes. The husky looks sleepy and drunk with love. There is a hill in the background, and the square structure of the image almost conflicts with this unoriginal style. The depiction refers to horror stories bonding with the husky on 13th of December. Very well, let's get that one down there as well. And what else we got? On this carving is an image of Dark Avak teaching release to a muffalo as wild seahorses look on in disgust. Wow. The seahorses, they don't don't approve. They don't approve at all. Uh, Dark Havoc is wrinkling his brow in concentration. A gnat stands near the edge of the image. That's kind of what a midge is, a gnat. But, you know, obviously a little bit different because it, it tries to eat people. But nevertheless, it's about the same sort of size. Uh, do we have another one? Have I already set that one up to be moved? I may have, actually. And this one is on this work of a picture of Wilson. Buying goes from... Uh, Paola uh, Defoe with greedy intent. Wilson argues with Paola. An image is totally devoid of both trouble and void. It is, well, okay. It's the void of voids. The smiling hand of a dentist watches over all. Uh, That is a little bit crazy. Okay. But uh, we'll get all of this set up. Don't you worry. And of course, they will be set up to have roses in them. Now then, research has been completed. Uh, let's work on the ship computer core, shall we? That is the next one that we need done. And thank you very much, Rhapsody. Let's get this one also set up for roses. Ah, oh, marvelous, 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 marvelous. Uh, I really hope you guys will will eat properly soon. Uh, how many eggs have we got in there? Only two, but uh, egg progress is is yeah, getting up there. And we may even have some new chickens hatching very soon. And this is glorious. Look at all this space we've got. I am super happy with that. And this room is actually almost finished as well. I am also pretty happy with that. Right then, let's get these installed. One, one light there, one light there, one light... Uh, we'll see. We might not put a light there. We'll see how much this lights up the, the room. It actually lights it up pretty good. Right, production then. We want fermenting barrels. Lots and lots of fermenting barrels all the way up. Fermenting barrels for as far as the eye can see. And as soon as that wall is done. Oh, that's fantastic. We're getting a lot of stuff done really, really quickly. I approve. That being said, though, we're going to need some more trees chopped, I think. And let's clear up some of the uh, trees from around this area. We're going to need a lot more wood. Uh, we haven't even started cutting into the animals we've already got, so I'm not going to get any more for now. That's uh, going to have to wait. All right, moth, please. <laughs> it really seems to like sitting on my left hand. I have no idea why. Uh, perhaps getting a good view of the game from there, I suppose, actually, considering where my keyboard is. Uh, all right then, moth. You, you enjoy last place as well. A, a moth of fine taste. You may stay. Uh, right. Everything is done for now, but we're going to need more bi- uh, bionic legs, really. So... Oh, precious minerals found. Your long-range mineral scanner has found a lump of precious resources nearby. Let's go and have a look at where that is, because if it's super close, then maybe we'll go out there and uh, do a little bit of digging around. Will it even tell us what precious minerals, though? That is the question. That is the important question. Uh, it's actually not as far away. A uh, lump of precious resources. Uh, we don't know what it is, though, so we might have to go and take care of that. We might not. Beavers. Well. Muffalo. Well. Mate, Macy, what? Uh, what? It, really? It, why is I? Hmm, why is Macy all the way over there? I don't quite understand, but uh, all right. Uh, is Macy no wildlife? Is Macy listed on wildlife? Yeah. 
Macy must be a muffler that we sold at some point who has just found her way back. I was totally going to go out there and harvest that muffalo herd, but I can't now because Macy led them here, and it'd be so rude. You know, Macy's like, oh, I want to show you this awesome place I once was. They're so nice. And they just show up, and then we murder them all. How? That would be terrible. That would be like bringing, bringing your friends around to your house, and your parents just embarrass you. No, we're not going to be those kinds of people. But damn it, that would have been so much food. That probably would have been able to keep us going with, like, packet survival meals for ages. Oh, well. Uh, however, that does mean we are going to hunt for you because, again, we are actually going to need those packet survival meals. How can I make those? Let me have a quick look. Packet survival meal. Let me have a look at the details here. And he cooks a packet survival meal from a combination of raw meat and raw plant ingredients. Much of the ingredients are wasted. Oh, that's not grand. That's not grand. Well, uh, I'll allow you to do it, I guess. Um, we won't make it out of people, I know. But still, that should actually allow us to get quite a lot. We we need a lot of these. Let's go all the way up to... These last forever, so let's go for a thousand, sure. Just keep making them. They'll be at the, the bottom, though. They're not going to be top priority there. Uh, pack survival meal after the lavish meal. But I'm going to copy this one and paste it over here as well. So there we go. If they can, they'll make pack survival meals. Now, hopefully, pack survival meals will be something that people don't eat generally because there's going to be better meals available for them to have. So it won't matter to them too much. But uh, we'll see how that goes. But we are cutting into the meat now. So, yes, time for the more slaughtering to go on. Thankfully, there's not too many people over here to slaughter. So I'm not going to worry too much about that one. Let's uh, get the same hunting party down here. I really... I wish I could give them, like... Uh, I suppose I could give them uniforms just to make them stand out a little bit. Because they are effectively my go-to hunting party every single time. We are also going to have to take care of that. Because you're going to be an issue to us eventually. There we go. Let's get all of these as well. Get everyone together. All right. Time to eliminate. All right. You're good. Well, I mean, you're not good. You're clearly ungood. You're very, very unwell right now. Uh, let's eliminate you. Thank you. Let's go and take care of the, the wolf, though. Because you will become an issue eventually. It will happen. Ah, oh, damn it. Horror story was hurt. I was hoping that we might have been able to avoid that. Sometimes we can. How badly? Ah, uh, twelve percent per day. You know what? You can head back. Can you carry it? Yeah, thank you. Haul it back for me. Uh, we'll go on with just the three of us. Should be fine. My uh, horror story. We'll, they'll be fine. They'll they'll easily be able to uh, get set up there. Ooh, we've got even more down there. Uh, no, we've already hunted so many of that particular herd that I don't want to hunt any more of them. Right, let, let me eliminate... Oh, I killed a squirrel when I meant to kill you instead. Uh, there we go. Let me put you out of your misery. There we are. Nice and easy. And these two. And this is why I use this method. It's so much faster than just having the hunters go out. Wow, really? Valerie as well? Uh, you would only just slightly bruise. That's not a problem. All right, you're all good. Thank you. Should be plenty of food for us for quite a long time now. Uh, right, hopefully we'll start building up the package of wild meals. We'll probably take along some light things that can be used to make um, make a lot of money, and we'll stop by a couple of places on the way, I should imagine. But we're going to need some more bionic legs. At least, I'm going to say, eight more. So let's set all of that up. This is going to be an expensive make here. Uh, so another eight of those. We are going to be making those things for a good long while. As for the muffalos, we are going to need the muffalos to have plenty of food. Uh, right. Well, actually, the muffalos will graze, so that's not actually necessary. But really, I, I just so hope that we can get this before it gets too cold. I worry that it might get cold soon. I really worry it's going to get cold. What's the outside temperature? It's only 20 degrees, so I'll, I'll let it keep going for now, but uh, it's going to get a bit bit rubbish soon uh, we are going to need a lot of bionic animal legs so let's set this up we're at least gonna need 10 of them so let's get them going because we want all those muffalos able to walk quickly that's the idea we're gonna be sending up the the train the sorry the party who are gonna be getting to the AI are gonna be 
walking as fast as they can, carrying only what they need. So a couple of trade goods, uh, uh, probably a lot of silver, some gold, um, AI calls, that kind of thing. Anything which we can we can trade for a, a decent amount of food. Uh, intellectual neural trainer. Who would best benefit from this? Uh, you've already got 19, so we don't really need that. We could get Madden. Well, Madden's kind of crazy, but maybe. Go ahead. Use that. And pump. Uh, intellectual, go from 11 to 15. Let's have a look at you. There we go. Yeah, you're a little bit better at research now. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, okay, we've got loads of meat in there, so we should be able to make the package survival meals before too terribly long, but... Currently trying to make a hundred fine meals. It's gonna take us quite a long time. Then fifty simple meals. And then we'll be moving on to the lavish meals. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of time before we get to that stage. Still, we're we're not doing terribly bad for how we've got things set up. Let's uh, continue placing down all of the bows. We would be able to make a redonkulous amount of beer if we really wanted to. Really? Oh wow. That, oh, I was going to say, that's the first time an explosion has happened like that. But Sunrise has died. Rip Sunrise. Sorry, Sunrise. It it was going to happen eventually. And there's not a lot we can do about it, I'm afraid. Uh, I do feel bad, though. Just a little bit. Let's get all of this cleared out. We'll get some more components as well. That room is a filthy pigsty. My goodness. They were amazed. Really? Man, you must have very low standards. But okay, I, I accept. Uh, it'd be kind of silly for me not to, I suppose. Uh, anything else going on with that? Yeah, we're chopping down all the trees. That's good. And we've got some more visitors. Marvellous. I'm certainly not going to turn my nose up at that. But with all of this done, I think maybe we could even start looking at getting um, a little sun lamp set up over here. You know what? I think we should. I really think we need to now. So let's get a sun lamp about there. That'll give me a decent shaped room. There we go. Now I would like you to make me... And I get you to... Oh, I need to get rid of this first. Thronk. Then... Can I... Oh, it's got to be built first before they'll uh, allow me to create the grow zone. We're going to have hay grass in there. I think it needs to happen. And we'll also put down a lot of... In fact, we might even put super soil down in that one. It's expensive for hay grass, but it's going to make a big difference to our animals. This is going to be great once it's done, but for now, it's going to be a little while. Uh, thank you very much for moving that egg in there. Marvellous. We've got a couple of chicks already. There we go. So that's that's it for the... Oh, well, actually, no. They'll still bring a little bit of hay grass on there now and then. And uh, there we are. All of our mufflers will try and go and grab some food. Got some grass. Oh, that's fantastic. I approve. We should hopefully get that built reasonably soon. How are we doing for steel? We've got loads. We've got absolutely loads. There's not much we need to worry about. We've actually got a lot of human leather again. Uh, perhaps I should summon a trader. Sure, let's go for a Crescent Trade Caravan. Go for the bulk goods trader, please. And thank you and disconnect. We've got enough goods here that we should be able to uh, make a fairly decent trade with them i do wish this was done already we need more people working on on crafting unfortunately um considering we are actually struggling to get a lot of stuff made despite the amount of people we have a lot of that is going to be down to me being inefficient with the way that i've set up the colony unfortunately uh, but hopefully in the next one we'll be able to build on these things all right there we go all right i want the growing zone and i want this for uh, hay grass. But also, I want to be able to see where I need to build the walls. So we're going to have walls there, for example. That will be replaced by walls down here, all the way right around. We're actually going to build this one right up to the wall. Like that. And then over here, we'll have a heater or something like that. Uh, in fact, we could even have one in there if I really wanted to, but I don't. So, let's go ahead, cut this away. We'll have a, a little wall behind it. Dig that away. And then this will be the first greenhouse that we set up on this side. We can have easy access to it if we want. We could put the door over there. 
run the path along. This would have to be moved, unfortunately, because it's kind of expensive to build. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to just get rid of that one. But what we can do then is set up the path to it. And I do like doing that. Let's get all this. I've actually really enjoyed having a proper path through the colony this time. Uh, it's not something I always do. But it's, it's made the colony feel really actually quite nice. I, I've really enjoyed it. That's going to be a little bit of a potch because during the the day this will cast shadows which will which will uh, make a oh, really well drat we lost all of the power up there that is horrible but at the same time we have actually got quite a lot of power there anyway so it shouldn't be the worst thing we'll fill those batteries again without too much issue still it's annoying to lose so much power we could transfer the batteries and we would normally if we if we really needed to but uh we don't realistically speaking now mega soil the yayo is going to be an issue and also the massive amounts of components we could instead just go for this and to be honest that's probably wiser uh let's get that up we will eventually replace some of it perhaps with um the better soils but for now i think this is fine as is let's just get all of that done if we can please that, of course, can be moved. And for the time being, this can be turned off. We don't need it turned on and using it power for now. What we do need is to get all of these walls and the roofs and all of that built. How's everything going over here? 98% grown. Oh, it's, it's going to be great. You're going to have, finally have food. Ah, marvellous days are here. Uh, simple prosthetic legs. We're starting to work on the bionic legs, which is great. Still got loads of meat there. On the whole... I'm fairly happy with the way things are, except there. That that is really not acceptable. It's because you've got so much work. Uh, I'm gonna set this up before research you need to clean. And Katie. Once you're done with cooking, maybe go clean. Actually No. No, Dark Havoc doesn't need to worry about that one as much. However, um, yeah, we could get you to work on cleaning as a high priority. Sure. Okay, we'll have a couple of people keeping this place a little bit uh, better cared for. Because, frankly, we do not want that. That is just awful. Because our, our visitors are walking through there. Uh, okay. Wilson, could you go and have a quick chat with Bentley? What a fine name. Okay, Bentley, I'll tell you what you've got to trade. You've got a couple of medicines, which I will accept. Also, one component I will accept, despite the extremely uh, lie, uh, high price. We've got loads of beer that I can trade, which I am actually going to trade a chunk. I'm going to trade 25 of them away. And then we're going to get rid of as much Deadman's apparel as we can, or anything that is particularly low okay 187 we'll make this 23 there we go and accept thank you it's marvelous let's get all of that out of the way and finally we're getting some more cleaning done good 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 and more clothes being made as well at all times which is uh, pretty cool we've got some new beer being brewed is everything else okay i think generally speaking everything else is okay uh, we have got a lot, we need a lot of Nutramine, but it's the only thing we need, which is good to see. Um, I wonder though, who is going to work on that next? Uh, Dark Avak might, might get in there and, and start work on that sooner rather than later. Ah, oh, look at this. Marvellous. We just need to get all of this stored. Uh, we don't need to sew. I'm fairly certain... Well, actually, you might be able to get another harvest, like, to half. If we don't have a blight, you might be able to get something close enough during autumn before winter really sets in. Mm, we'll see. We'll see on that one. But uh, for now, things are doing well. Uh, okay, we've got all of this sorted as well. Let's just build up the corners there, and then we'll fill this out properly later on. We will need a heater right there, though. So that means we're also going to need a floor. But you know what? We'll just smooth this floor, I'm thinking. Let's go ahead, smooth that out. And we'll just get a heater 
in there. Now, getting that set up is going to be a little bit of a part because we're going to need the power to run over there. That should be close enough, though, I think. Let me just go and have a look because we have got a spare heater somewhere. There we go. And we can get that installed. Yeah, okay. We'll get that set up and we'll just turn it off until the room is actually complete. But on that note, I think we're going to be wrapping things up there. We have finished the the uh, fermenting room. Uh, I am going to need a heater in there though as well because that actually works better if it's at a good temperature. Ideal fermenting temperature is, oh, actually 7 degrees to 37. What's the temperature in there right now? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll leave that as. And then this is going to be our inn. So we've uh, prepared the room for that. Oh, dear. Infestation. <gasps> Finally! Well. Okay. I think I'm going to let them build up a little bit. In the next episode, we're actually going to see if this, this thing that took me so many episodes to build actually works the way I'm hoping it's going to work. We'll have to see. But that's going to be it for me for now. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, though, and will be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.